I know, I just want you to be quiet while I'm filming, okay? I haven't brushed my hair properly, I know. Morning, uh, I'm gonna do today's um, video a little bit differently. Today's vlog a little bit differently to how I've been doing them. So I've been doing sort of more uh, informative, like me just sitting there chatting to you if you've been following me. Um, but today I thought that I'm going to literally show you uh, what I really do to take care of my skin really because everything what I'm talking about like it's everything to do with the skin um, and I just want to start by saying that I started this channel because I know how difficult it actually can be for some people like that when they've got really bad skin they've got constant breakouts um, they just they get frustrated when products irritate their skin so easily just like you know a whole lot of things I see so many things from clients and all that kind of stuff that I just thought that I would make so that I could explain like it's not just about putting a product on your skin and being like it should work like so much more it is it is literally a science behind like take taking care of yourself so yeah like literally like looking after yourself uh you might notice as you follow me that a lot of the tips that i give uh are actually very similar to if you want to have a healthy weight and lifestyle and all that kind of stuff it's important that all of these aspects go hand in hand to give you the best skin possible because there are so many things and reasons why you may have skin concerns and all that anyway but I thought that I would do this video differently and I will show you what I actually do in a day to day life to actually get my skin to the point where I am so happy with it and mostly I am very happy with it however today we still have Fred, Fred's still here, can you see Fred? Right there. He's been with me a couple of days, sorry he's on the mend. Uh, and I just want to make a point of saying that just because I work really hard at having my skin being great for majority of the time, it doesn't mean that I always have perfect skin. And the thing is, is that I know how and when I need to change something and things like that. Um, and I just want to make a little side note that when you do have pimples, I uh, don't pop them. It's probably the better option however for the people who are needing to pop their pimples um you may see like ads on tv and stuff how the pimple the pore they just say it's just like a almost perfectly shaped sort of rounded hole i guess but that's actually not how with like the hair follicle coming out but that's not actually how the shape of a pimple is it's actually quite zigzaggy so when you go to pop a pin don't just go straight for it um go at it with like a little bit of like a wiggle um, and maybe from a couple of different angles so that the uh pus can sort of like zigzag out of the pore that's like a weird thing that i've remembered from like my first day of like some beauty school thing i did like 10 years ago and it stuck with me <laughs> Anyway, but I don't recommend popping your pimples um, just because it can cause more infections and all that kind of stuff. So just, it's better to not. Anyway, back to today's uh, vlog. So we're in lockdown again in Melbourne. You can see here with the dirty face. We're in lockdown again in Melbourne. Um, so I've got a busy day of going absolutely nowhere, <laughs> but that's okay because I can actually use it, to, uh, use this time to actually show you, uh, things I try to do, uh, every day to, um, again, like I said, just, I work very, very hard at having my skin be at a point where I am happy with it for most of the time and a lot of people actually say to me like oh wow you have very glowy skin I'm like oh I would hope so because I literally work my butt off for it okay so I'm just gonna do like a get ready glow up what I'm gonna do with my skin uh, this is my general um, 
getting ready in the morning. Now use a clean face cloth. Try to make sure that you change your face cloth every couple of days because let's face it, a lot of dead skin gets onto that. And um, also this is my morning routine for before I'm going to work. So I've just cleaned my face and now I'm putting on face oil. This is really hard with one hand. Always go up. Okay, so that's actually my morning routine when it comes to my skincare. Um, and when I do, uh, it's normally because I'm normally really time poor in the morning. Let's face it, I want to prioritize sleep over getting ready. So I need a product that's literally going to do like everything. So I just clean my face. I uh, only like use a face peel or a face mask like once a week. Oh, twice a week actually, sorry. Um, and then, yeah, so my morning routine. This is like literally all that I use. It's got anti-aging properties. It has hydrating properties. Uh, it Obviously, it's a face oil, so it gives your skin a better glow. Like for my skin, I find that a face oil actually gives my my skin like a better glow, a better hydration um, than the moisturizer, I like the cream. I'm not really a fan of creams, to be honest with you. I would either use a face oil or a serum. Um, I don't think that a cream works well on my face because look, a face oil or a serum that all the good ingredients or the active ingredients actually get into my pores and penetrate into the deep layer of my skin a lot better than a cream does. A cream I often find will just sit on top of my face. Anyway, I don't get full benefits, I'm not a fan. Um, so, excuse me. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so face oil or a serum in the body care range all the day skincare. Uh, all have natural UV and DNA protection in it as well. So that saves me needing to worry about like extra um, sunscreen and all that kind of stuff because I've already got that layer of sun care in there. Also, a new thing that I've been doing in the morning as well, I'm not sure if I should probably be doing this more, but I've got this, um, the Beauty Chef Well Spray. Tastes herby, but I'm not gonna lie, after I spray it, because okay, so your skin health has a lot to do with your gut health. So this is really good for your gut, um, just to help it like um oh it's got selenium in it, that's good. Um yeah, so it's good for your digestive health, beauty well being, um superfood. Oh, good. So it encourages your metabolism and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, so your gut and your skin have a wellness axis where if your gut health is not doing so well, your skin will probably show it in some ways, either through breakouts or potentially through redness and sensitivity. I use that only in the morning and then throughout the day, I choose what I'm going to eat. <laughs> I make like... There are like these things that I call skin foods, which are just foods that are really good for your skin. And when I go to the supermarket, I literally have a list of my skin foods in my head and then I just sort of buy those and then I make my recipes and food accordingly. Um, these things are like things like salmon, avocado, uh, you know, dark leafy greens, um, most veggies, you know, generally like healthy stuff, like the kind of stuff that you would probably go for if you were to be trying to go on a diet and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's avoiding sugar, um, processed foods, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna like brush my hair now. <laughs> uh, anyway, but yeah, so that's pretty much like uh, what I do in the morning before I go to work. It's uh, my morning routine because I'm very time poor in the morning. I rarely wear makeup to work. Uh, unless I have like important meetings or something 
Uh, but even then, I'll probably just take my makeup with me and stuff because I just want to get to work as soon as I can. Like, it takes me a while to get to work and everything. So, back on the floor. Yeah. Anyway, that's my morning. Okay, so I'm not too sure why Fred has decided to appear. Um, it could be because... Uh, last weekend it was Emily's first birthday so I probably had way too much like sugary stuff and probably didn't really eat accordingly we definitely had a few drinks and like well, we don't I don't really drink too much anymore now that I've had her and stuff and like lockdown and everything you just you know I might have a glass of wine with dinner but like nothing special uh, probably haven't been drinking enough water or my other potential Fred reason um, is that I literally this week have started taking thyroid meds because I've had I've had a really big weight problem after having Emily to actually lose the weight. Like I've only lost the weight of her um, and the placenta, which is not normal. And you know I have no appetite. Um, I'm going exercising, like I'm walking with her like every day and all that kind of stuff. And I just thought, oh, this is so strange that I literally have not been able to lose any weight. It turned out that my thyroid was really slow. So like I was talking about skin foods just a second ago. And uh, now that I know it's my thyroid, I'm actually uh, going to choose particular foods for actually stabilizing my thyroid as well so hopefully it will uh, start paying off soon who knows <laughs> anyway so Fred could be here for many reasons that is why it's good to have a skin diary so that you can uh, check and see what it is they could have eaten or stress or not enough water or you know even hormonal stuff like you know it's good to just keep record of that so you know how to like fight it and combat it so my way of combating it is because he's you know near, near the end now lots of water switching my coffees for green tea getting these off getting those antioxidants in and flushing them out so uh, and cutting down the sugar except I made brownies yesterday <laughs> mm. hello happy Tuesday so it's another day in lockdown um, in a good old Melbourne where it is lovely and raining and cold and to be honest with you I don't even want to go outside for our daily walk so we got up this morning, I did some stuff around the house. Now we're just like hanging out in bed. Um, we're just going to, I think, just spend the rest of the day in bed. I mean, it's nearly three o'clock anyway, so, you know, I only just had my shower, so I'm doing really well. Um, anyway, so I just want to show you a little bit about what I do for a bit more of my skincare routine because the other day I know I did like a very quick like work routine when I just do really easy face oil and all that kind of stuff um so I thought I will show you a bit more about what I'm doing now so just had my shower which probably the wrong order except that wanted a clean face and all that stuff because I'm going to put on this skin labs magic moisture mask and I love this mask. I mean, it's great. It's so hydrating. Like, I don't think that any other face mask that I've ever like used before has ever given me the same like glow and just oh, just like even the texture of it's like really creamy and like sort of like a fluffy creamy actually. It's really nice. Mask on. Should have put my hair up. I'm so silly. So I've made myself this, um, oh my god, you can't really see it very well. Let me turn the light on. So it's sort of like a, felt like something chocolatey, but also healthy. It's a oats, some dark chocolate chip nibs in there. 
Um, there's cr desiccated coconut, there's cacao powder, most of it's oats, and then just on top I've just put some berries and some more coconut and some more chocolate nibs. So that's just going to be my little like snack slash my lunch because I haven't actually eaten anything really today. Cause I didn't actually realize how dark it was on film just then until like literally just looked back on how disgusting I look. But oh well, whatever. It is what it is. Anyway, so Melbourne is now in a, another seven days of lockdown. Which, you know, it's fine. It's mm. fine. Like, just, mm. just get it done. Mm. Just do it. Mm. Um, but what I have mm. done is put together a little uh, pack of um, body code skincare stuff. Uh, which we can start sending out, well, pretty much straight away. Um, obviously, I'm at home today, so... Um, if you order anything now, I'm not going to be sending it out until tomorrow. Hmm. So I've put together a little um, product pack for, especially for lockdown. So just like little lockdown essential skincare things that I think people um, might appreciate and enjoy. Uh, it's worth $180 uh, and I'm selling them for $150. So you get three products in there. If I could find all my products that I bought up here which apparently I can't no all right so apparently I didn't bring all the um, products up with me but in the pack you get a hydrate body spray because I mean who doesn't love a good body spray that smells amazing as well um, and You've also got a night repair face oil because uh, that's probably one of our, I'm going to say that's our most popular face oil. Uh, so is the anti-age because they're a really good pair together. Um, but yeah, the night repair face oil. Also, I've got to say that's probably my favorite face oil just because it's so luxurious. Um, it's so luxurious and just the texture of it. It's I feel like it's really unique. It's different to the day oils. The day oils um, a lot, lot lighter because obviously like during the day you're going to want to put your face oil on and then probably like put makeup on and go to work or do whatever you're going to be doing. Um, and the night repair, uh, it's like a, it's like a thicker. It's not greasy, but it's like thicker, sort of almost it's not as thick as a face mask but it's sort of like you're putting a face mask on in a way to go to bed when you wake up in the morning you're really like glowy and dewy and beautiful uh anyway so the night repair i did leave downstairs and to be honest with you i just cannot be bothered to go downstairs right now and get it and then the third product is you get to choose which day face oil you want so there's the anti-age face oil hydration plus face oil or the blemish control face oil so it sort of depends more on what your skin concern is um yesterday on the website i've also now put a uh skin consultation that you can do um so if you go to the bodyco website bodyco.com.au um there's now a section for you to fill out a form based on what your uh skin concern like your skin type your skin concerns and all that kind of stuff um what you want uh product wise if you want something for your face something for your body um and all that kind of stuff and i've even included like hobbies and everything so if you like to travel uh maybe you'll be interested in the fly attendant or the tan accelerating spray or something like that if you're wanting to go on a holiday or if you're more into sort of health and fitness then maybe you'll be more interested in our personal training spray and definitely our muscle recovery um anyway so those are just like some updates that I've done um I'm going to now spend the rest of the day doing some work on something else which I don't want to talk too much about yet because I literally I couldn't sleep last night because I literally had this idea um instead of sleeping so that's also another day, why, reason why I want to spend the day in bed because I'm just kind of tired um so I was up all night researching and stuff. So I'm kind of excited about this. And I'm hoping that I'm hoping that I go through with it. Um, 
because you know it's only going to be me stopping myself so i'm probably just going to hang out here emily hopefully will nap for like an hour and a half or something and then we'll go downstairs and i will make dinner i'm really proud of myself even though it's tuesday i've actually done three days it, well, when i work out today i'm going to have done three days of workouts um i promised myself <laughs> told myself i was going to run 3k every day until the end of the month so it's like the 20th of july um and so i was like okay you know what is that like 10 days or something mm. um yeah no nah, i ran on sunday and yesterday i i just did a home workout yesterday mm. i <laughs> i had it in my head that i was going to be one of those mums that you know runs with the pram and everything but i'm not one of those mums anyway uh so obviously today's vlog's a bit different to my normal vlogs because i just wanted to like show you a bit more about my life uh not so much like lecturing you about uh, skin concerns and skin types and how the skin works and choosing a skin care product and all that kind of stuff I just thought I'll show you a bit more about what I do um, so I'm just going to relax with this on pretty much until I get up to make dinner and I might just wash it off then okay so hello good afternoon um, so yesterday I did my uh, Skin Labs Direct Magic Moisture Mask while I was hanging out in bed and I thought that I would just show you a bit more about what I'm doing in my evening routine at the moment. So just clean my face and I'm just going to show you what I do. So at the moment I'm, I'm just going to use the lactic peel uh, just because uh, I'm not having any breakouts or anything at the moment. I just sort of want to keep my skin uh, nicely glowing. Uh, I don't use a peel every single day. I'll probably only do it maybe once or twice a week, depending on how my skin's going. Um, I might use it a bit more regularly than a face mask. So this is a bit different to a face mask because it's cleansing and exfoliating the skin versus the face mask is hydrating it and making it plump and beautiful anyway uh i will normally do this at night time however i am not filming this at night time because i find that at the moment uh when we're going to bed everything's just a bit harder because trying to get emily to sleep and all that kind of stuff i don't really have time to film so i'm just going to show you now it's like two o'clock in the afternoon so it's slightly different to what i will be putting on so instead of putting on my final product and doing one for the day anyway so uh skin lab straight lactic peel uh you have options with this one depending on how you want your routine to be so either you can leave it on for like 20 minutes uh and wash it off you can sometimes i literally just put this on and go straight to sleep uh but it's up to you what you want to do um today i am a little bit more trying to get stuff done so i just want to sort of do it and show you sort of a bit more of a routine but fun fact that I absolutely love about skin labs direct peels is that uh, they're super super gentle so what I'm actually going to do is leave it on and I'm actually going to layer my skincare products on top of it uh, so it, it depends on the brand that you go with when you do this so you need to be careful but skincare it doesn't necessarily have to be washed off uh it's sort of one of those things that you know your grandmother your mother you know people have just always told you you know you gotta do step by step you've got to do cleanser then you gotta do a toner then you gotta do exfoliate or whatever it is uh that's not necessarily how what you need to do for your skincare so i've literally just put that on as you've seen and now i'm going to put a vitamin a and e on just because that's just really nice for skin tone radiance and all that kind of stuff used it quite a bit so I'm just going to put that on the top because vitamin serums are fantastic uh, again the vitamin serum I'll use a couple of times a week so my exfoliating and my vitamin serums I might do every second or third night maybe Anyway, so sometimes I might just do the exfoliator. Sometimes I might do both of these and just go to bed. Sort of depends on how I'm feeling and all that kind of stuff. 
Uh, next is my Express Eye Lift because I'm getting older now and I've been noticing little lines around my eyes. So I'm just going to put a little bit here. I use about one pump between the, both the eyes, so about half a pump for each eye. One good thing about these products is less is more, like they're very, very powerful. The ingredients in there are very, very powerful. So you don't need to like saturate your face in the serums and stuff. So I put enough on to like cover. That was probably a bit too much. Now, so for my final step, uh, I'm, again, it's, the middle of the day so i'm not going to uh do my final night routine product so I use body co during the day because i love my face oils i love how my skin glows with the face oil so i'm using the anti-age face oil and yeah so i can just layer it on because that uh peel is so gentle on my skin i can just go about my day yeah I would use that or my night repair face oil but that's pretty much my skincare routine can just leave it on because the uh, face peel is so gentle it can stay on you can layer the products I love layering the products I love that I can layer the products because it really saves me so much time like you don't have to wait the 20 minutes wash something off put something on for like another five and like you know all that kind of stuff just layer it and you're good to go and like you know my skin's getting all the benefits all day long which is fantastic so just because i normally do this at night time i'm still going to wash my face and everything so I'll, I'll have a shower tonight wash my face properly in the shower and then i will probably just put my night repair oil on to be honest with you because i've already done my exfoliating and stuff Okay, so I thought I'd just like show you the inside of my um, little skincare, beauty care um, cupboard in my bathroom. Uh, definitely a bit big for, I need to get a skincare um, fridge I reckon. Surprised that I haven't got one already. So at the top here I have, you know, my hair sprays, hair volumizer, hair mask, which is quite old I think, so I think that's a new brand. Anyway. Um, got my soap dispenser. Uh, I've got Emily May's massage oil for when she gets her massages. All right, so these this shelf sort of stuff that I use uh, throughout the week that I might alternate between. So I might use like my I normally do my exfoliator and these this um, berry enzyme peel. Like I'll usually use these in the shower. So the Beauty Clean Skins products. Not my shower products. Um, I'm probably going to use this one more often in the shower, to be honest with you. Um, every so often, once a week, my magic moisture mask, my Skin Labs Direct magic moisture mask. This is my detoxing face mask that I'll do on a Sunday. Again, Beauty Clean Skins, it's green clay. Um, I also got this that I've tried a couple of times, which is quite fun, Sephora. Anyway, and then I've got my two vitamin serums here too. So I alternate depending on my skin. So, so this is the one I use today, vitamin A and E, which is just for a radiant tone and texture and stuff. Um, just cause I just like to keep that up with my skin and vitamin B is for when I'm sort of having a bit more of a breakout. So, um, I've got my you know, makeup wipes and stuff. Salicylic face peel. I'll use that again. That's when I'm having a bit more of a breakout. My lactic peel. That's my general peel that I use. I've got my body cotonic accelerator and my muscle recovery. It's winter time, so I'm not really using that as much because it's too cold to go outside and tan. But I've been using this a bit, especially because I started doing an Akela It's Steins workout again, and I've been struggling a little bit, like. With the recovery so i've been putting that on my legs and body before i go to bed at night time my beauty chef well spray this is just a random face mask i have uh, that uh, i've got my body spray i've got deodorant all right so i alternate between using this address 30 plus my express eye lift again a daily use thing because i'm short like i like to be able to reach um and I alternate between these two as well. Um, at the moment, I'm using anti-age 
just to keep my skin young. And that's just like all stuff for my bar. So little like things that I've taken from um, hotels and stuff and soap and stuff. And then I've just got a little lavender pure essential oil as well for diffusers when I can't sleep. So that's my little, what my little skincare makeup shelf looks like at the moment. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please comment below if you prefer this style of vlog, like more of an implementing my skin tips in a daily routine and all that kind of stuff so you can see a bit more of my life. Uh, or if you would prefer more of a lecture style kind of vlog where I just sort of give you facts and let you sort yourself out. Uh, to be honest, I think I had a lot more fun filming this one. I did it over a few days and... Yeah, I just really enjoyed sort of like showing you a bit more of my life. However, I'm so happy to go back to filming the other ones as like the lecture ones as well. Like I'm, I want to, uh, I want to create films for, I want to create my uh, videos around what you guys would prefer. And because at the end of the day, this YouTube channel is for you guys. Uh, and I just want you guys to, I guess... I created this channel because I know how hard uh, people can find it when I know how hard it is for uh, to feel I know how hard it is to feel confident in yourself like when you have breakouts or like your skin's feeling dry or dull and things like that you know uh, skin is a huge thing in confidence like it's not just about you know oh, I'm just going to, like, I have a pimple or something like that. Like, it really does affect people's self-esteem. Like, there's so many things that uh, it just, yeah, I know. I see it so many with so many of my clients and stuff. Like, I just, I want you guys to really benefit the most. And I think what upsets me the most is that uh, people get sucked into uh, marketing and stuff, especially, like, this day and age with like influencers getting paid left right and center for uh promoting uh skincare brands and all that kind of stuff so i just i want you guys to actually benefit and get the most out of uh your skincare your routine your beauty routine don't forget like skincare is a lifestyle like looking after your skin is not just a product it's literally what you eat like how you sleep exercise all that kind of stuff um, and you know, if I do keep doing sort of more vloggy videos like this, maybe I'll start doing some, some like skin food recipes and stuff for you as well. Uh, do let me know what you want. Like, otherwise I can just like sort of lecture you on, uh, like foods you should be eating and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, I'm happy to also, as I'm doing things like this, incorporate maybe like a bit of like a, and explain things behind the scenes as to why I'm using certain products or certain things about skin and all that kind of stuff just yeah let me know in the comments below what you want to see uh if you've got any uh particular skin questions skin concern or something like that that you want me that you would like me to vlog about uh or if you want me to answer during a vlog or something like that please comment that below as well uh because i'm so curious to know again this channel is for you guys like I want you guys to benefit from it. Like, I'm just having fun with this. Like, I'm absolutely loving making these videos for you. And, yeah, so do that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. Uh, if you don't feel confident about – if you don't feel comfortable with uh, putting questions and stuff in the comments here, do feel free to DM me. Like, I'll happily get back to you there as well. Uh, yeah, and also don't forget to subscribe to my email list because I will be giving out, uh, uh, I'll often send out uh, skin tips, skin advice, products that I recommend, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, do subscribe to that as well. I absolutely love it being here for you guys. Can't wait to see you again next week. Be on my